Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing events, and great people. I have the privilege to introduce you today to an amazing woman, <laughs> Frances Aconia, who owns a marketing firm and helps small businesses in our community. Yes. Welcome, Francis. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate My it. My pleasure. Yeah. I'm so happy you could finally make it. Yes. You're so busy. <laughs> so explain to me what exactly you do. Yeah. So um, I've actually been working in the field of marketing for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. I work mostly with very large corporations helping mm -hmm. to market products to small businesses. Mm -hmm. And um, in working with small businesses and learning from them, what I found was that small business owners really understand what they do, um, how to run their businesses. Mm -hmm. And I find that a lot of them don't spend a whole lot of time marketing and promoting the business. So out there actively promoting the business. And I, at one point, thought to myself, I think there's a need in in, in, in the small business community right. to help support them by helping them to promote and market what they do. Um, so about two years ago, mm -hmm. I started my business. Mm -hmm. And what I do every day now is I work with small businesses within the local community here in Westchester County mostly. And I just help them to identify ways that they can get out in front of their target audience and, and, and help to foster the growth of small businesses within the communities in general. And, and I see that most definitely because um, I've been in business multiple years um, as an RD nutritionist yes. as part of Nutrition K. And I've had many times where I've had people encouraged to help with business development or improvement. And you're different because um, a lot of these just give you a basic outline or some basic email and they just let you to deal with it. But you take such respect and care of every single step of that business and it's vital today because more and more we hear it because of Amazon and Google and online businesses are shutting down left and right and what you do is, is you tremendous and promote these small businesses to develop themselves and do whatever is necessary um, for them to to grow and yeah. do well yeah yeah and I, put everything sorry. you've got into it yeah, I'll tell you what I see is people will walk into a small business and they'll say, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread. You've got to, this is the best way to promote your business. And they'll, they'll just do one little thing. And um, in fact, I was with a business owner last week and she had mentioned to me, Francis, I put this little article in this publication. It cost me a lot of money and I was expecting a big return and I got nothing. And um, I felt so badly for her, right? Because small business, when you put money out to do any kind of promotion or advertising, you want to see a return. Right. Um, and my philosophy is to look at the organization as a whole right. um, and think about what are the various ways they could be communicating uh -huh. um, in order to reach their target audience. Because some of their audience could be here, some of their audience could be here, and right. some of their audience could be over there. Right. And you have to find a way to um, do some communication across the venue um, mm -hmm. so that you're reaching as many people as possible. Um, Which is vital. I always say it, business, it is. business, uh, wealth promotes business health. Yes. And, and in today's, um, I'm personally not tech savvy. And I find that anybody that's helped in the past has always been through computer or email or something um, where it really didn't help. But you have the gift through your experience of many years in terms of finding whatever is deficient or needs to be enhanced and just taking them by the hand and saying, listen to me, I have some expertise, whatever your deficiencies are, whatever you don't know the very best at, I'm going to teach you, I'm going to guide you to promote your small business the very best I can. Yeah. And and you completely dedicated to that in your in community. Yeah. You are. Yeah, you know the the thing that the other thing I find is that there's been a very significant shift in terms of technology over the last 10, 20 years. And because of that, mm -hmm. there are plenty of business owners that don't understand um, where they should be, what they should be doing. Um, and, and how to embrace the change in technology. Right. Um, and and right. 
Unfortunately, what ends up happening is a business owner will completely shift gears and go in one direction and, you know, will think that that particular technology is the only way to go right. and they're missing an entire opportunity of other potential consumers that are not even there yet. So, sure. Interesting. Um, Interesting. you know, helping to educate them on sure. when it's appropriate to use a particular technology over perhaps what they have already been using and been successful at, yes. uh, I've noticed yeah. is, is um, important. I know. Every time I listen to you, Francis, I, I learn. I know when you just share with me in terms of what groups uh, address as far as Facebook comparatively to what groups are addressed with, say, um, Instagram. Yes. You yeah. shared in terms of well, what did you share? Again? Yes, yeah, so, no, so understanding who the different the differences are. Who is mm -hmm. your target audience on Facebook right. versus Instagram? Right. One is a little bit older crowd. One is a little bit younger crowd. Right. And understanding who your target audience is, so you know where to be and what to say in those particular venues, mm -hmm. um, amongst all the others, right. is 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 you know significant. Right. And I have found that with businesses closing, what are the most vital tips oh. that you would tell with all these businesses. I know it's very important for us to encourage each other and share as much as possible. Yeah. But what are some important tips for small businesses? Trying so to so if I can even just take a step back. So, yeah. you know, I have watched plenty of small businesses go mm -hmm. out of business and they are such a vital part of our community, right? Yeah. When I think about the small town where I live, right. um, if we didn't have small businesses, if we didn't have a place where I can go and get baked goods, say, to bring to my mom's house for Sunday dinner or a bottle of wine sure. or, um, sure. you know, something for dinner, right. all of these small businesses provide right. necessary things for us um, so that we don't have to travel 30 minutes right, to a big box store, let's say, um, to pick things right. up. Right. And th so right. they support the community by, you know, providing those those items within easy reach sure. um, of where we live. Um, they also support the community because they live within the community. And so, you know, when the baseball team wants to do a fundraiser, the small businesses are the first ones to step up yeah. and and promote that. And I think, um, we, you know, we... we sometimes forget that it's really important to support those small businesses because they're within the community and they are supporting us. Mm -hmm. um, they're helping us to provide a, mm -hmm. you know, nice, safe place where we can um, raise our children. So, and so, so, so and so vital. So in addition so, to Guru Marketing, yeah. you also are part of so many different charities and organizations and you remember the Alliance. Yeah. So can you share? Yeah, so I am a member of the Somers Lions Club, uh -huh. um, and and I joined the club about seven years ago as a result of my my grandmother and grandfather have both been Lions for so many years uh -huh. um, b before they passed away. They were members of their Sorry. Somers Lions Club in Rigo Park, uh -huh. New York, and Queens. And um, I saw the good that they were doing, that the Lions Clubs were doing. I know for them, they were constantly supporting. Um, orphanages. They used to, every other week or so, drive to JFK to pick up eyes wow. that were coming in to drive to the eye bank. Wow. Um, they just did so many things. And, yeah. and I saw that that was something that eventually I wanted to be part of. So yeah. about seven years ago, I joined the Somers Lions Club. And, yeah. and I see firsthand just all the wonderful things they do. The local Lions Clubs um, are terrific because they are another support network within the community mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. help support people that are in need. You don't realize mm -hmm. we live in a beautiful community mm -hmm. and there are still people within our community that are in need. Yeah. Um, and, and an example of that is uh, back at the end of the school year, we got a call from the social worker within the school district who said, hey, listen, the number of kids that can't afford to go to summer camp this year has doubled from last year. Wow. And we just thought that was incredible. And so wow. she put the call out to us for help. We put the call as the Lions Club out to the community for help. And the community just responded so wonderfully. And we've got a lot of donations in. And we were able to send those kids to summer camp so they weren't at home, um, you know, doing nothing all summer long. So right. it's just one of the ways that the, the, the Lions Club supports, you know, the, the folks within the, a, a local community. And it's it's such a great organization. And then they do support other charities. Sure so sure um, the Lions Clubs also um, donate money to like Make-A-Wish Foundation, Friends of Karen, right. 
um, just to make sure that the you know local charities are supported as well. Right. So they, they do it, a lot. And even to the point that you collect eyeglasses. That's for right. People in need. Yes. Yes, we do. So if you, you you go to the local library or even right. at Mama Rosa's, there right. are lo uh, little boxes where right. you can donate your eyeglasses, right. and then those eyeglasses get repurposed, recycled, right. and um, given to families that perhaps couldn't afford to buy yeah. eyeglasses. So yeah. if you anybody has eyeglasses and you want to donate there um, you know don't miss that donation box uh, I tell you Francis you are so humble and you're so beautiful inside and out you do so much for so many Thank and you. I'm always saying that it's important we pay it forward and make an impact in this world in whatever time we're allowed and you certainly do that every time I turn around and share talk with you you're doing something else to help someone and so does your organization Thank and you. I think it's uh, it's absolutely wonderful. It really I, is. I love I love doing it. Yeah. It's, it's and, and many people do. You yeah. know, many people when given the opportunity. A lot of the businesses I work with want to also help, and they, you know they're constantly asking me, well, what can I do? What can I do? And um, recently, the the friends of Karen mm -hmm. had an opportunity where mm -hmm. they were trying to get school supplies sure, so they can awesome. stuff back. And sure. you did. You thank you. <laughs> of course. Um, and and so I, there were four of the companies that I work with who said, hey, I want to participate. How can I do that? Mm -hmm. And uh, we just set up boxes in their facility, and we communicated out to uh, to everybody and, and said, hey, if you want to participate and, and help the Friends of Karen, here's a great simple way for you to do it. You're going to be out anyway shopping for school supplies. So. It makes it um, such little things can make such a big difference it can. In, 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 in making a change. Yes. So we have about two minutes to oh. sum up. Yeah. And I want to know if there's anything last minute you want to share with my viewers. Yeah, That's so important. just in terms of small businesses, right? right? So for small business, what are some of the things that you could do maybe that's a little bit different um, that can help the business? And I think one of the first thing I would say is look at your business holistically. Identify who your customers are um, and where do they go to get information. That's so important. Who they are, where do they go to get information from there. You can develop a plan mm -hmm. um, that you then execute on mm -hmm. and then follow up with. So mm -hmm. know who your customers are. Um, know where they get information, develop a plan to communicate with them, communication is key, and then evaluate whether or not your communication channels are working. And if they are, great, you just keep moving ahead. And if they're not, it's okay to change it, right? And think about how you might change it. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having so me. So informative. I really appreciate it, Linda. So remember when you eat well, select great foods, and feel great is something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, balanced moderation is key. Just sharing, um, just sum up in terms of Francis Aconia, as far as small business. Promote it, encourage it, support it. It is the basis of our communities, and it needs to be continue to, to grow. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you to my lovely crew. Have a nice evening.